I've never been exposed like this before hey my loves welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in if this is your first time here you are welcome please do not forget to click on your subscribe button okay your subscribe button is just below this video also don't forget to turn your notification bell on this is so that each time i upload you're going to be the first to know thank you so much my amazing subscribers i appreciate your love and your support on my channel god bless you all in today's video i'm going to react to this advice a nigerian was giving to nigerians that have plans of moving to ghana nigerians that have planned to move to ghana there are some certain things that you are not allowed to do while you are in ghana and there are some certain things that you are expected to do while in ghana also so a nigerian man um took out his time to lecture nigerians who have plans of moving to ghana i'll also add some certain tips okay if you have decided that ghana is where you will stay just know that you will need a resident permit believe me some nigerians don't have resident permits they don't want to talk about this one <laughs> then you will need a resident permit entering ghana you will be given a 90 days visa on your passport it, that visa expires in 90 days so it's either you renew it or you go back to your country and then come back and gain another 90 days or since you have decided to stay before the end of that 90 days you try and apply for your resident permit it's not that hard you just need some certain documents to get your resident permit in Ghana as a Nigerian. Aside that, since you have decided that you are going to live in Ghana, you also need to find accommodation. Accommodation is quite expensive in Ghana, I must say. Yeah. But then you need accommodation and you have to deal with the rejections that comes with being in nigeria from ghanaian landlord i'm going to talk about this in another video i don't know which one will go up first this one or that one but whichever one that goes up first i just want you to know that as a nigerian living in ghana there are some certain things that you will face okay it's not your fault so as a good nigerian it's not your fault it's because some people have gone ahead of you and spoiled the road for you okay so Ghanaian landlords sometimes they do not want their house to be rented to nigerians don't blame them it's due to their previous experiences with nigerians but just know that you have to face such rejection okay and before you move to ghana make sure that you have a job if you don't have a job make sure that you have a certain amount of money to start up a business in ghana as a nigeria also know that there are some certain businesses that you are not allowed to do as a nigerian living in ghana yeah if you want me to elaborate on this drop a comment on the comment section but for now let me show you what the nigerian man was advising the nigerians who want to move to ghana and I will come back later. Accra boy. Biography. You see this Ghana where you did? Yeah. This Ghana where you did? Yeah. I want to tell you one thing. And if you follow this one thing when I tell you, you go make them in this Ghana. Mm -hmm. You see this Ghana where you did? Mm -hmm. You must accept Ghana for Ghana to accept you. Yeah. You must love Ghana for Ghana to love you. Mm -hmm. So many people that have been in this Ghana for 20 years, 30 years without achieving anything. You know why? Why? They come up for their country, come motherland, Ghana. And they use their tongue to they cross the land where they day. Yeah. Forgetting say, now here the one day they eat, now here the one day they bath, now here the one day they sleep. Yeah. One thing I want you to understand is that Ghana is motherland. Ghana na motherland. And you no go feel insult your mama. No, 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 no. no, no. You no go fit insult your mama. Never, never. If you want to obtain that blessing from God, if you want to obtain that blessing from God, you must make your mother happy. 
Yeah. So you come up from your country. You be Nigeria, right? Sure, yeah. Man. You come up from Nigeria. You come Ghana, and Ghana where you want Kondi. And you come come for the motherland. They stand for the land. They say Ghana, Ghana no good. Ghana did this one. Ghana did this one. You will never make it in Ghana. <laughs> that is the truth. Yeah. Now advice when they give you as a young Nigerian guy in Ghana, so that you go feel achieve something, you go feel make something, then go back to your country and make your family happy. Mm. Now be one advice when I won't give you. Okay. And so for the Nigerians too who are watching me with the Ghana. When I always they talk, say Ghana is not good, Ghana is not good. Ghana, Ghana not good for now. You they Ghana and you they use your tongue where you say they eat, drink Ghana water, eat Ghana food, even if you know they eat Ghana food. But as far as the items, the, the food, the food stuffs we have bought in Ghana is product from Ghana. You they eat them and you they condemn the country and you think say the country will favor you. You know go favor you. Never. Never. One secret I want me to learn today, or one secret I want me to know today for those who are watching me who are not Ghanaians. This motherland Ghana is like a spirit. It's a deep spirit. And when you embrace that spirit, that spirit will embrace you. Yeah, yeah. And when you respect that spirit, yeah. that spirit will respect you. Yeah. But if you insult that spirit, if you dis if you disregard that spirit, that spirit could disregard you. You must accept Ghana as your own home. Yeah. You must love Ghana. When you love Ghana, Ghana will love you. If you don't love Ghana, Ghana will feel love you. Mm. I want to use myself as an example okay. to you. If you see, why did they call me Brakofi? Now because of the love when I gave for Ghana, because of how I accept Ghana as my home, mm. that is why that name Black Kofi Kong. And that is why you see, even if others they cry, say Ghana is too hard to, or Ghana people hate Nigeria and so and stuff, I'm always happy. Anything you love for this life, go love you. Anything you hate for this life, go hate you. The simple uh... truth, the simple truth on how people have been making, those who came to Ghana and they make it in Ghana, they return back to their, own, their country, and I love what they gave for Ghana. Akra boy, this is one strong advice when I won't give you. Yeah. If you want to make it in Ghana, you must love Ghana. Ghana. And Ghana will love you too. Sure, sure, sure. What you say? Sure. Hey, yeah, Brian Kofi. You understand? Love Ghana. So guys, you've heard it all, alright? So Akra boy. Yeah, go love Ghana, make you shine. I mean they tell you. Akra you understand? <laughs> <laughs> alright, take care. My advice to everyone, what could they use our hearts? The bonnet will they do? For prosperity. I'm not gonna talk him again. I don't talk finish. See you guys. I'm here, Bye bye. What's up, GH? It's your favorite girl, AJ Bakas Nata, and I'm here with Brakofi. Brakofi, what's up? I'm good. How are you doing too? I'm good. So, how long have you been in Ghana? I've been in Ghana for like six years. Six good years? Uh -huh. Wow. Then I guess you know how to eat all the Ghanaian dishes, so uh, trust me, like I'm here, bro. Kofi, hey, <laughs> so which of Ghanaian dish is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite Ghanaian food is banku with okuru stew. Ha, so when you be a dada, meaning be a matthias here, it's good to jay, salmon, willy, koto, kwe, oh, fine, and I'll be to see our president <laughs> and give you Ghana card. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> So, Brakofi, what is your experience so far in Ghana here? My experience in Ghana here? Well, uh, Ghana is my home. Yeah, I always say Ghana is my second home. Yeah, I love Ghana so well. Yeah. You know, one thing I believe is that uh, uh, people always complain that Ghana is uh, uh, hard or Ghana people are this, Ghana people are that. But my belief or what I believe most is, is when you love something, what you love loves you back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many years mm -hmm. back when we were in school, you know, I was one of those people that said that I don't love mathematics, I don't love mathematics, and I keep on failing. You understand? I don't like mathematics, mathematics don't like me. So if you don't like Ghana, Ghana will not like you. Wow. You will find it difficult. But when you love Ghana, Ghana will love you. I swear, Ghana loves me and I love Ghana so much. Uh, you understand? Ghana is sweet, <laughs> wow. So, Brakofi, would you marry a Ghanaian lady? Yeah, I'll, if I don't marry a Ghanaian woman, wait till I gain. <laughs> 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 so the single ladies out there get ready black coffee is coming for you <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> I'm single I'm single don't worry don't worry let's go <laughs> are you sure you are single oh yeah yeah I'm single I'm yeah. single and uh, single. I'm single and I'm, let me tell mama mama will be ready and they bring another wife come for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so uh, a little advice to the youth out there watching you Yo, for the youth out there, big shout out to you guys, you understand? It's not easy to be, they say, uh, uh, adulthood and scam. It's true, true, not to the scam, because back then, if you didn't want my house, you could chop every money and then, but now, it be where they find our stomach. But I want to say to the youth, don't give up, you understand? Chase your dream. 
chase your dream. Don't let anybody give you bad energy or discourage you. Focus. You go make my map brand. Yes, me too. I the focus. So, uh, I the focus. But now nah, I, I won't marry. <laughs> <laughs> so guys focus all right that's my piece of advice for you guys and i believe that god will god will bless us here thank you brakofi thank, thank you so you. much you. so brakofi we see you next time all right thank you man. take care <laughs> bye bye hello guys brakofi is saying focus on whatever you are doing and make sure you leave your comments under the comment section follow us for more videos see you next time bye bye how can you be visiting me from nigeria and you are coming with five bags and you are telling me that you are just coming to stay for one month eh uncle what kind of lie is that eh as a nigeria living in ghana anybody that comes to visit you with more than one bag my brother they have relocated to ghana and if you accept them prime like this brother your life is finished for those of you who think it's help it's not helpful you will be living in bondage from the rest of your life all those people coming from nigeria to come and make you feel uncomfortable in the name of i'm coming to spend one month and they are coming with five bags six bags seven bags my brother if you accept them once you accept them into your house i'm like this see in the next five years they are still living with you if you like accept them it's at your own detriment as i did so they want to come visit me i mean i don't lock door i tell them i travel i'm on my way to Kumasi by first traveling we move